we're going to check out 10 games on the Ryzen 7 5800H. It's a very capable CPU, and even without an additional graphics board, this CPU can handle a nice variety of titles. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble. For today's video, we'll be using the Geekcom A5 Mini PC. This small computer has a surprising amount of storage options, uses the onboard Vega 8 GPU, dual channel DDO4 memory, and is quite affordable. We'll be running Windows 11 Pro, and all software and drivers are updated to the current latest versions. And before we get into the games, here are the system diagnostics. With settings raised to high at 1080p, the Ryzen 5800H plays GTA 5 rather well. Just note that the GPU usage is at 98%, so 4K won't be possible without using something like Super Resolution. Next up is Fortnite. We're using the performance renderer at 1080p, and jumping out the bus can give us some lowish frame rates. However, once the feeder on the ground, it becomes much more acceptable. Dirt 5 really does push this mini PC to the limit. We've selected 1080p at medium settings, and it's very easy to see that it lowers the resolution to give us a playable frame rate. Rocket League at 1080p with most options checked gives us around 60 FPS, a playable frame rate for an extremely enjoyable game. Here's Dota 2 using the Vulcan Renderer. At 1080p using the best looking options, we're in the high 60s. Storm. 
But as the game develops, it does dip. It is playable, but if you want smoother gameplay, we can simply click down the settings. Middle is missing. Bottom is missing. Here's Counter Strike 2, 1080p medium. It is playable, but we're not hitting the frame rates required for competitive gaming. The Witcher 3 is a game that chews up this GPU. To give us anywhere near 60 FPS, we need to lower the resolution to at least 720p. And the same applies to the Rise of the Tomb Raider. Even though we're getting just above 30 FPS at 1080p, this game remains fun to play. A secret entrance. And lowering to 720p again, Increases the frame rate dramatically. Oh no, they're already here. Got to get inside. And here's PAL World. We'll probably see more optimization in the months to come, but as is, we're looking at a fairly low FPS at 1080p. Overwatch 2 shows us how game optimization should be done. Let's kick this off. Over 100 FPS at 1080p medium. If you want to see more videos from us, here are two that may interest you. This has been Imachikin of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ta-ra!